I'm now joined by former UK MP George Galloway to further discuss Europe's role in the Venezuelan crisis. George, thank you so much for joining me today. Now, the list of European countries recognizing Guaido keeps growing, with the exception of Italy. So, why is Italy defying this group? Well, let me first congratulate Juan Guaido on winning the Super Bowl yesterday. It was a remarkable achievement, especially for someone who didn't even take part in the game. Why Italy? Well, Italy is the only independent member state of the European Union these days, refusing to be pushed around either by Brussels or by Washington. And I think that that will bring a great deal of pride to the Italian people, left and right. Now, the Five Star Movement that Peter just uh, quoted there are one part of a coalition government. It's an unusual, perhaps post-usual, coalition government, a government of the left and of the right, of the populist left and the populist right, which may actually be the future. Uh, I have a strong feeling that it will be. And on both those counts, uh, populist right and populist left. These two forces reject globalization, reject the idea that people in their own country should be forced to do what other countries want. So I think it's quite a significant stand. Now, 13 EU countries have now recognized uh, Guido. There are 28, including Britain. We haven't heard from them all yet. And some of them should beware, because it's not at all impossible that foreign countries could decide that they, too, were not the legitimate rulers of their country and give them a seven-day ultimatum to stand down in favor of someone else. George, someone let's, talk else, to the countries, incidentally, let's talk to the countries that don't recognize well, him as president. So we have Russia, China, Turkey, and Iran. They recognize Maduro as president, and they're warning against meddling in Venezuela's affairs. Are we looking at a potential proxy war in Venezuela? There's a very real danger that, uh, that Venezuela will become a new Ukraine at best, uh, a new Libya and Syria at worst. And as uh, President Maduro just said, it depends how crazy, how local, uh, the Yankees and their allies are prepared to be if they really want war. Did you see the size of the pro-Maduro, anti-U.S. intervention demonstrations in Venezuela over the weekend? If you did see them, you must have been watching RT because you didn't see them anywhere else. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people reject this move by the U.S. and its Western allies. George, Trump ruled out any negotiations with Nicolas Maduro while maintaining, maintaining all options are on the table, including military intervention. Now, would you classify this as a mistake on Trump's part or perhaps a missed opportunity for Trump to sit down with Maduro and demonstrate his, quote, effective negotiation skills? Well, I said to Manila on Friday that I think this whole thing will fall flat. Uh, the uh, pro-Maduro demonstrations in Venezuela vastly outnumbered the anti-Maduro protests at the weekend. And I think that that's something that will grow and grow. Now, here we have President Trump, who masterfully embraced uh, the little rocket man, uh, Kim Jong-il. Uh, he was able to make a deal with North Korea. Why can't he make a deal with Maduro? Uh, Maduro isn't a communist. Kim Jong-il is a communist. Maduro is Trump's neighbor. Kim Jong-il isn't. It's not sensible, this George, course of action. We have and about, I have a feeling we have Trump about 40 is being set seconds up to left fail. here. I want to jump in. Uh, really quickly, what should be done in order to settle the crisis in Venezuela? And do other countries need to play a larger role in peacefully resolving this conflict? Well, Mexico and Uruguay have proposed uh, that they broker talks between the Venezuelan opposition and the president. The opposition has rejected it. And that, I think, tells you a very great deal about this story. Talks, jaw, jaw, much better than war, war, Ashley. We're going to leave it right there. Thank you so much, George. 
Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.